Imagine that every day is like a fresh canvas and you've got the brush in your hand. And that brush, that's the choices you make. Now the question is, what will you paint? You see, every single day is an opportunity for improvement. It's an opportunity to sharpen your skills, refine your thinking, and elevate your life to a higher level. But it doesn't happen by chance. You have to make it happen. One of the greatest lessons I've learned is this. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Failure, on the other hand, is simply a few errors in judgment repeated every day. The difference between these two, failure and success, lies in the small things you choose to improve daily. It's not the big changes. It's the little changes, the ones we sometimes overlook, that make the biggest difference over time. I've summed it up to about 10 things that you must improve every day. We're going to cover those 10 areas, but we're going to move through them quickly so we can move on to our goal workshop. Number one, the first thing you must improve daily is your attitude. How powerful your attitude is. Your attitude is the foundation on which your life is built. If you improve it just a little each day, you'll find that it changes everything about your day. Now, you might say, Jim, it's just an attitude. It's just how I feel. Well, I'm telling you, it's not just how you feel. It's how you see the world. It's how you approach problems, how you handle challenges, and how you relate to other people. And it goes both ways. Your attitude is like a magnet. It draws in opportunities, or it pushes them away. Think about this. Have you ever met someone who is always negative? someone who complains about everything no matter how good life is. Now, how much success do you think they attract with that attitude? Probably not much. And that's because their negative attitude creates a barrier to opportunities. On the other hand, someone with a positive attitude attracts opportunities like a magnet. People want to be around them. They want to work with them. They want to help them. They want to see them succeed. So if you improve your attitude just a little every day, maybe you work on being a little more optimistic. Maybe you work on being a little more patient. You'll find that doors start to open that you never even knew were there. Now here's something to think about. Your attitude doesn't change overnight. It's a slow and steady process. You improve it bit by bit, day by day. Maybe today you focus on being a little more grateful. Tomorrow you focus on being a little more resilient. The next day you focus on finding solutions instead of dwelling on problems. Each day you add a small brick to the foundation of a better attitude. And before you know it, you've built something strong and lasting. And I'm telling you, when your attitude improves, everything else starts to improve with it. Your relationships, your work, your health, everything. Next, you must work on your communication skills every day. This is a huge factor in how successful you become. Why? Because everything in life involves communication. Whether you're talking to a friend, making a business deal, or simply interacting with your family, communication is at the heart of it all. And the better you are at communicating, the better your relationships will be, the better your business will run, and the more influence you'll have in your community. Now let me clarify something. Communication isn't just about talking. In fact, some of the best communicators don't talk that much at all. They listen. They listen carefully. They listen with empathy. They listen to understand, not just to respond. You see, good communication is a two-way street. It's about expressing your ideas clearly and understanding the ideas of others. 
and you can improve this every day. Maybe today, you work on being a better listener. Tomorrow, you practice getting your point across without being aggressive. The day after that, you work on finding the right words to express how you feel. Each day, you chip away at the rough edges of your communication style, and you become someone who people want to listen to. And here's the real power of it. When you communicate better, you influence more. You lead better. You inspire others to take action. Tell me, have you ever had a misunderstanding with someone because of poor communication? Maybe you thought they meant one thing, but they meant something completely different. And that little misunderstanding led to a big problem. Now imagine if you improved your communication just a little every day. How many of those misunderstandings could you avoid? How many conflicts could you resolve? How much more trust could you build in your relationships? It's worth thinking about, isn't it? Next, you must improve your self-discipline every day. It's crucial. You see, self-discipline is the bridge between your goals and your accomplishments. It's the ability to keep going when you don't feel like it. It's the ability to do what needs to be done, even when it's uncomfortable. And here's the truth. Without self-discipline, success is impossible. You might have the best goals in the world, the most brilliant ideas and all the talent you could ask for, but if you don't have the discipline to follow through, none of that matters. Self-discipline is like a muscle. The more you work on it, the stronger it gets. And you can improve it a little every day. Maybe today you discipline yourself to wake up 15 minutes earlier. Tomorrow you discipline yourself to exercise even if you don't feel like it. The next day you discipline yourself to stay focused on your work without getting distracted. Each of these little acts of discipline may seem small, but when you add them up over time, they create massive results. Now here's something to think about. Self-discipline isn't just about willpower. It's about creating habits. You see, when you make something a habit, it no longer requires as much discipline. It becomes automatic. So part of improving your self-discipline is building habits that support your goals. For example, if you make it a habit to read 10 pages of a good book every day, you don't have to rely on willpower to learn and grow. The habit takes over and your discipline becomes effortless. I once knew a young man who was incredibly talented. He had all the potential in the world, but he lacked discipline. He would start projects with great enthusiasm, but he would never finish them. He'd get distracted by the next shiny object, the next new idea, and leave the old one behind. As a result, he never made any real progress. One day I sat down with him and I told him, you've got to work on your discipline. You've got to train yourself to stick with something until it's done. Even when it's hard, even when it's boring, even when you don't feel like it. And you know what? He took that advice to heart. He started small, just finishing one little project at a time. And over time, he developed the discipline to follow through on the big things. Today, he's incredibly successful, and he'll tell you that self-discipline was the key to it all. Another way to improve your mindset is to challenge your limiting beliefs. You see, many of us are held back not by external circumstances, but by the beliefs we hold about ourselves and the world. We think we can't do something because we've never done it before or because someone told us we're not good enough. But those beliefs are just thoughts, and thoughts can be changed. 
So each day, work on replacing those limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, think, I'm learning how to do this. Instead of thinking, I'll never be successful, think, I'm on the path to success. Each day, you improve your mindset just a little, and over time, you'll find that your entire outlook on life changes. I once knew a man who struggled with his mindset. He was constantly focused on the negatives in life. He saw every obstacle as insurmountable, every failure as final. As a result, he was stuck. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't move forward. One day, I sat down with him, and I told him, you've got to work on your mindset. You've got to stop focusing on what's wrong and start focusing on what's possible. He took that advice to heart. He started small, reading a few pages of an uplifting book each morning, practicing gratitude each night, and slowly shifting his focus from problems to solutions. Over time, his mindset transformed, and so did his life. He became more confident, more resilient, and more successful. And it all started with the daily practice of improving his mindset. Next, time management. We have to pay close attention to time. It's the one resource we all have the same amount of, but how we use it makes all the difference. You see, time is precious, and once it's gone, you can never get it back. So if you want to achieve great things in life, you've got to learn how to manage your time wisely. And the good news is, time management is something you can improve every day. Maybe today, you work on setting clearer priorities. Tomorrow, you focus on eliminating distractions. The next day, you practice saying no to things that don't align with your goals. Each small improvement in how you manage your time adds up. And before you know it, you're getting more done in less time. And you're focusing on the things that truly matter. Tell me, how often do you find yourself busy but not productive? How often do you spend your time on things that don't really move the needle while the important tasks get pushed to the side you see, being busy is not the same as being productive. And that's why improving your time management is so crucial. It's about focusing on the right things at the right time in the right way. One of the best ways to improve your time management is to start your day with a plan. Take a few minutes each morning to map out your priorities for the day. What are the most important things you need to accomplish what can you delegate or eliminate? And here's a key. Don't just plan your work, plan your breaks too. You see, rest is just as important as action. If you don't take time to recharge, you'll burn out. So make sure that you're managing your time in a way that includes both productivity and rest. I've worked with many people over the years who struggled with time management. They'd tell me, Jim, I just don't have enough time to get everything done. And I'd tell them, you've got exactly the same amount of time as everyone else. It's not about having more time. It's about using the time you have more effectively. So if you want to improve your life, start by improving how you manage your time. It's a daily practice. And with each day that you get a little better, you'll find that your life starts to fall into place more smoothly. Next, every day you must build and improve your knowledge. Now I'm telling you, the world is constantly changing. And if you're not learning, you're falling behind. The more you know, the more you can do. The more you can do, the more value you can bring to the marketplace. And the more value you bring, the more rewards you receive. So if you want to stay ahead in life, you've got to improve your knowledge every single day. How do you do that? Simple. Read, listen, study. 
Every day, commit to learning something new. Maybe today, you read an article about your industry. Tomorrow, you listen to a seminar about personal development. The next day, you take a course to improve your skills. Each small investment in learning adds up. You'll find that you're more knowledgeable, more skilled, and more prepared for whatever life throws your way. And here's the thing. Learning doesn't stop when you leave school. In fact, that's when the real learning begins. You see, formal education will make you a living, but self-education will make you a fortune. The most successful people in the world are lifelong learners. They never stop improving their knowledge because they know that the more they learn, the more they can achieve. Mr. Schof was one of the smartest men I've ever met, but he didn't become that way by chance. He became that way by dedicating himself to learning every day. He told me once, Jim, the more you learn, the more you earn. And I took that to heart. I started reading, listening to tapes, attending seminars, anything I could do to improve my knowledge. And you know what? Mr. Schof was right. The more I learned, the more opportunities came my way. And the same will be true for you. Next, there is never a good day to neglect your finances. You see, your financial situation is not just something that happens to you. It's something you create. And just like any other area of life, it requires daily attention and improvement. Whether you're trying to get out of debt, build wealth, or simply create more financial security, it starts with making small, consistent improvements every day. Now here's the truth. Most people don't really understand money. They know how to earn it, but they don't know how to manage it. And as a result, they find themselves constantly struggling, no matter how much they make. But here's the good news. You can improve your financial situation a little bit each day. Maybe today, you start by tracking your expenses so you know where your money is going. Tomorrow, you create a simple budget to make sure you're living within your means. The next day, you start setting aside a small percentage of your income for savings or investments. Each of these small steps adds up. And before you know it, you'll find that your finances are under control and growing. I'm telling you, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep. You see, some people make a lot of money, but they spend it just as fast as they earn it. They live paycheck to paycheck, always on the edge of financial trouble. But others who make less are able to save, invest, and build wealth because they've learned the principles of financial management. And those principles can be learned by anyone. You don't have to be a financial expert to improve your finances. You just need to make small, smart decisions every day. One of the best pieces of financial advice I ever received was this. Spend less than you earn and invest the rest. It sounds simple, but it's powerful. If you live by that principle every day, your financial future will be secure. But here's the key. It requires discipline. It requires the willingness to delay gratification. It requires you to say no to unnecessary expenses today so that you can say yes to financial freedom tomorrow. And that's something you can improve every day, your ability to make smart financial decisions, to manage your money wisely, and to invest in your future. Tell me, have you ever looked at your bank statement and wondered, where did all my money go? That's a sign that it's time to start improving your financial habits. It's time to take control of your money instead of letting it control you. And it doesn't take huge changes, just small, consistent improvements. Next, personal development. Here's the key. 
Life is about growth. If you're not growing, you're standing still. And if you're standing still, you're falling behind. So every day, you've got to work on becoming a better version of yourself. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about constantly improving who you are, how you think, and what you do. Personal development is a lifelong journey, and it's one that you can't afford to ignore. Maybe today you work on improving your self-awareness, understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, your habits, and your tendencies. Tomorrow you work on developing a new skill, something that will help you in your career or personal life. The next day you focus on improving your emotional intelligence, learning how to manage your emotions and relate better to others. Each of these small improvements contributes to your overall growth. And over time, you'll find that you've become the person you always knew you could be. One of the best things you can do for your personal development is to set goals. Clear, specific goals that challenge you to grow. But here's the key. Those goals must be aligned with your values, your passions, and your purpose. You see, it's not just about achieving more. It's about becoming more. It's about becoming the kind of person who can achieve those goals. And that's something you can work on every day. Maybe today you set a goal to read one chapter of a personal development book. Tomorrow you set a goal to practice a new habit for 10 minutes. The next day you set a goal to reflect on your progress and adjust your course as needed. Each of these small actions moves you forward on your journey of personal growth. Now, here's something important to understand. Personal development isn't just about learning new things. It's also about unlearning the things that no longer serve you. Sometimes in order to grow, you've got to let go of old habits, old beliefs, and old ways of thinking that are holding you back. That's why personal development is an ongoing process. You're constantly learning, growing, and evolving. And the more you commit to that process, the more you'll find that your life improves in every area. One of the most powerful lessons I've learned about personal development is this. You attract what you become. If you want to attract success, you must become successful in your habits, in your thinking, and in your actions. If you want to attract great relationships, you must become the kind of person who is worthy of great relationships. If you want to attract abundance, you must develop an abundant mindset. And that's something you can work on every day. You can become more disciplined, more focused, more positive, and more successful by improving yourself just a little each day. Next, your purpose. This one is so important. You see, purpose gives your life direction. It's the reason you get up in the morning, the thing that drives you to keep going even when things get tough. And here's the key. You've got to work on your purpose every day. You've got to constantly refine it, deepen it, and live it out in everything you do. Now, some people will say, Jim, I don't know what my purpose is. And that's okay. You see, purpose isn't something you find all at once. It's something you discover and develop over time. And you can improve it a little every day. Maybe today you spend some time reflecting on what's truly important to you. Tomorrow you take a small step in the direction of your dreams. The next day, you align your actions with your values. Each day you make progress toward living a life of purpose. And before you know it, you'll find that your purpose becomes clearer, stronger, and more fulfilling. Here's the thing. When you live with purpose, everything else falls into place. Your work becomes more meaningful. Your relationships become deeper. Your challenges become opportunities for growth. 
Purpose is the foundation on which a fulfilling life is built, and it's something you can work on every day. I once met a man who had everything, money, success, fame, but he was deeply unhappy. He couldn't figure out why. One day we had a, we had a conversation and I asked him, what's your purpose? What's the reason you're doing all of this? He couldn't answer. He had spent so much time chasing success that he had lost sight of why he wanted it in the first place. I told him, you've got to find your purpose and you've got to live it every day. He took that advice to heart. He started focusing on what truly mattered to him, helping others, making a difference, living a life of significance. And you know what? His entire life changed. He found happiness, fulfillment, and a sense of peace that he had never experienced before. And it all started with the daily practice of living with purpose. Next, one of the most important things to work on every day is being grateful. Gratefulness is one of the most powerful emotions you can cultivate, and it has the ability to transform your life in ways you can't even imagine. You see, when you focus on what you're grateful for, you shift your attention away from what's missing in your life and toward what's already good. And when you do that, you attract more good into your life. Being grateful is something you can practice every day and it doesn't take much. Maybe today you take a moment to appreciate the people in your life who support you. Tomorrow you focus on the small blessings you often take for granted. Your health, your home, your job. The next day you show a little gratitude for the challenges that have helped you grow. When you're grateful, your mindset shifts from scarcity to abundance. And over time, you'll find that your entire outlook on life changes. Tell me, have you ever had a bad day where everything seemed to go wrong? We've all been there. But here's the secret. Even on those days, there's something to be grateful for. Maybe it's the lesson you learned from a mistake. Maybe it's the strength you gained from overcoming a challenge. When you focus on being grateful, even the tough times become valuable, and that's the real power of it. Gratefulness is one of those things that multiplies the more you practice it. The more you focus on what you're grateful for, the more you'll find to be grateful for. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill. It gets bigger and bigger with each day that you practice it. And here's the best part. When you live being grateful, you attract more of the things you're grateful for. You create a positive cycle of abundance, joy, and fulfillment that grows stronger with each passing day. Now being grateful isn't just about feeling good, it's also about taking action. You see, when you're truly grateful for something, you wanna give back. You wanna to contribute to help others to make a difference. And that's another reason why being grateful is so powerful. It not only improves your own life, but it also inspires you to improve the lives of others. When you make gratefulness a daily practice, it begins to change not just your perspective, but also your behavior. Being grateful has a way of softening us, of making us more generous, more patient, more compassionate. You see, when you focus on what you have, when you appreciate the small and the big blessings in your life, you start to release that sense of scarcity, that fear of not having enough. And that's powerful. Because when you stop living in fear, you start living in abundance. And I'm telling you, living in abundance is one of the greatest shifts you can make in your life. Gratefulness is like a muscle. You've got to work on it daily for it to grow strong. Every day, take a moment to reflect on what you're grateful for. And it doesn't have to be big things. Maybe today, you're grateful 
for the sunshine. Tomorrow, you're grateful for the fact that you have food on your table. The next day, you're grateful for the lessons you've learned through hardship. Whatever it is, find something, even if it's small. You see, the key isn't the size of the thing you're grateful for. The key is the act of being grateful itself. Now I'm telling you, being grateful doesn't mean ignoring problems. It doesn't mean pretending everything is perfect when it's not. Life has its challenges. But when you practice being grateful, you develop the resilience to face those challenges without being overwhelmed by them. You learn to say, yes, this is hard, but I'm still grateful for the strength to get through it. You see, gratefulness shifts your focus from what's wrong to what's right. And that gives you the energy, the courage, and the perspective to keep moving forward. There was a woman I knew who was going through a very difficult time in her life. She had lost her job, her relationship had ended, and she was feeling lost. Every day seemed like a struggle. One day we sat down and I told her, you've got to find something to be grateful for, even in the midst of this storm. At first, she thought it was impossible, but she started small. Each day, she wrote down one thing she was grateful for, no matter how small. Slowly, day by day, her perspective began to change. She began to see opportunities where she once saw obstacles. She started to rebuild her life, and today, she's happier and more successful than she ever was before. And she'll tell you that it all started with being grateful. Now, there's one more thing I want to emphasize about being grateful. It's contagious. When you're grateful about everything, people around you notice. It spreads. Your positive outlook inspires others to see the good in their own lives. Your generosity encourages others to be generous. Your appreciation for life lifts others out of their negativity. So when you practice gratefulness every day, you're not just improving your own life, you're improving the lives of those around you. And that's a powerful thing. So think about your life right now. Think about the areas we've talked about. Your attitude, communication, discipline, your relationships, your mindset, time management, your finances, personal development, your purpose, and being grateful. How many of these areas could benefit from just a little improvement every day? And what would your life look like if you committed to making those small daily improvements? And that's it. The key to lasting change isn't found in making one big leap. It's found in the small, consistent actions you take every day. That's where the real magic happens. That's where the transformation occurs. I've seen it time and time again. People who commit to improving just a little bit each day, who focus on the process rather than the outcome, end up achieving extraordinary things. Why? Because success is the natural result of small disciplines repeated over time. So tell me, what small improvement can you make today? What's one area of your life where you can start applying this, these principles? right now. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe you take a look at your spending and make one small adjustment. Maybe it's your relationships. Maybe you reach out to someone and tell them you appreciate them. Whatever it is, start today. Don't wait for the perfect time. Don't wait for everything to be lined up just right. Start with what you have, where you are, and make a commitment to improve a little bit every day. So, I want to know, what's one small thing you can do today to start building that discipline? What's one area of your life where you can start making those small daily improvements? Remember, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
It just has to be consistent. Because over time, those small actions compound. And before you know it, you'll be standing in a place you never thought possible. And remember the power of purpose. It's what gives meaning to all these daily improvements. It's the why behind everything you do. And when you have a clear sense of purpose, everything else falls into place. Your discipline becomes stronger, your gratitude becomes deeper, and your motivation becomes unstoppable. But here's the thing. Purpose isn't something that's handed to you. It's something you discover and cultivate over time. And just like everything else we've talked about, it's something you can improve a little bit each day. Maybe today you take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you. Tomorrow you take a step toward aligning your actions with your values. The next day you look for ways to serve others and make a difference. Each of these small steps brings you closer to living a life of purpose. And when you live with purpose, everything else in your life becomes more meaningful, more fulfilling, and more rewarding. I want to make sure you remember this when you go home. So jot this down. Life is a journey, not a destination. And that journey is made up of the small daily steps you take. Every day you have the opportunity to improve. Every day you have the chance to become a little bit better than you were yesterday. And when you make the commitment to improve yourself every day in every area of your life, you'll find that the journey itself is the reward. So, what are you going to improve today? What small, consistent action are you going to take to move closer to the life you want to live? Remember, it's not about making a giant leap. It's about taking one small step at a time, every single day. And when you do that, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve over time. That's the real secret to success. It's not about luck or talent or even hard work. It's about the small disciplines, the daily improvements, the little choices you make every day. And those choices, my friends, are in your hands. I hope that lands with you and I'm confident that as you begin to focus on these small daily improvements, you'll start to see remarkable changes in your life. Keep going, keep improving. And remember, success is not something you pursue. It's something you attract by the person you become.